Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Knowledge is Power. Today I am here with you all to discuss a very very important topic or you can say it is a very burning topic you all should know about infertility. It is the failure to conceive within one or more years of regular unprotected intercourse. It is not that because of the women only there is infertility problem but because of men also because of different risk factors a person may suffer from infertility problem. There are two different types of infertility one primary infertility where the couple they have never been able to conceive okay then coming for the secondary infertility it occurs or the couple they face difficulty in conceiving after already having one life children okay or you can say that after conceiving one children they are facing difficulty in conceiving the second children so it is secondary infertility coming for the incidence infertility problem it affects one in seven couples okay then the etiology or the risk factors conception it depends on fertility potential of both male and female partner not only the female partner is responsible for the infertility problem there may be some causes where the male partner is also responsible to have infertility problems so let us discuss all the male factors that are associated to cause infertility problems first and foremost defective spermatogenesis you all know spermatogenesis is a process of forming or production of sperms if the man he face difficulty in forming and production of sperms it may leads to infertility problem secondly obstruction of efferent ducts due to some disease or congenital defects it may also leads to infertility problems the number third failure to deposit sperm high in the vagina i will be discussing about the sperm count in my upcoming part then coming for the number four errors in the seminal fluid let us discuss all these points one by one uh, let us discuss about the defective spermatogenesis the defective spermatogenesis it occurs either due to congenital causes like if the testes are undescended if the spermatogenesis process is depressed then hypospadia it is also an abnormality then the thermal factor uh, it includes varicocele varicocele is also an abnormality of the veins so in males okay then infection like due to mom's infection or cystic damage may occur and it may leads to deformity in the process of spermatogenesis then gonadotropin suppression gonadotropin you all know it is a hormone it happens in the malnutrition cases and heavy smoking and high alcohol consumption can also may lead to defective spermatogenesis process and it will lead to infertility then endocrine factors uh, that are associated with hormonal factors you can say some hormonal factors are also responsible like if there is raised fsh fsh hormone that is follicle stimulating hormone level is seen in idiopathic testicular failure so these cases these causes are unknown then loss of sperm motility motility you all know is a movement then genetic causes like clean filter syndrome where there the chromosome will be 44 plus xxy then some hydrogenic causes hydrogenic means some drugs cytotoxic drugs like chemicals then radiation therapy if the male if he has undergone some radiation therapy previously then if uh, the man he is taking some antidepressant drugs all these factors may lead to cause obstruction in the spermatogenesis okay then next factor is the obstruction of the efferent duct so what happen in this if there is any infection like gonococcal infection or tubercular infection it may leads to obstruction of the efferent duct secondly if there is any surgical trauma during the procedure vasectomy i hope you all know about vasectomy it is a surgical procedure or you can say it is a permanent procedure so that the female they are unable to conceive it is a sterilization procedure where the first deferents are tightened up so during that procedure if there is any injury or you can say if there is any surgical trauma it may also leads to obstruction of the efferent duct okay other points it includes failure to deposit sperm high in the vagina 
it may due to erectile dysfunction number 2 ejaculatory defects such as premature retrograde or absence of ejaculation may also lead to failure to deposit sperm hind the vagina then hypospadias it is a congenital defect in which the uh, urethral opening it is not at the tip and because of that also there is failure to deposit sperm hind the vagina it now coming for the for an image showing hypospadias other points like there can be errors in the seminal fluid suppose if there is low fructose content in the semen if there is high prostaglandin content in the semen if there is low volume of ejaculation during the time of intercourse then it also may leads to infertility problems or errors in the seminal fluid then clinical manifestation of male infertility what are the symptoms they the male they will have if they are having male infertility like they they will have problem with the sexual function example difficulty with ejaculation already i have mentioned then they will have reduced sexual desire then pain and swelling in the testicular area then recurrent respiratory tract infection then decreased facial or body hair then having a low sperm count gynecomastia gynecomastia means female like characters in male like growing of hair growing of breast enlargement of the breast all these are characteristic of gynecomastia then inability to smell then what are how we can diagnose this uh, male infertility so first and foremost you all need to collect the history from the patient okay then you need to do physical examination so what you will see in physical examination we will check the general appearance okay we will check the external genitalia then thirdly you will also check the semen analysis test here you can find out the semen volume whether it is adequate or not then the sperm motility or the movement then you can do the semen culture in order to detect any infection okay then genetic test you can do to detect the chromosomal defects like sex chromosome and somatic mutation also you can detect it then endocrine test you can do where you can uh detect the serum testosterone level serum lh level and fsh level okay coming for the treatment of male infertility for the treatment where we need the treatment you should know whenever the male partner is in extreme oligospermia that is the male partner is having very low sperm count as a spermia then low volume ejaculation and if he is having impotency that is unable to conceive in all these cases the male partner he needs treatment okay the treatment it consists of improvement of the general health of the male partner avoiding such medication that may lead to infertility problems then some medications you need to treat the specific causes you need you may need some specific treatment and if the treatment it doesn't work with the help of medication then you need surgical management for the infertility problem in male now let us discuss all these points in a very brief way improvement of general health what you can do you can reduce the weight if the person is obese as obesity is also a risk factor of infertility then avoidance of alcohol and heavy smoking then avoidance of occupation that may increase the level of testicular temperature you should avoid you should advise the man to avoid such working environment that can increase the level of testicular temperature then second point avoiding the medication that interferes with the spermatogenesis process such as beta blockers anti depression drugs cytotoxic drugs simitidin all these drugs should be avoided to overcome from the infertility problem now let us discuss about some medication that are required to treat specific causes hormones may required like hcg hmg for hypogonadism cases then dopamine agonists can be used to improve low libido in males thirdly clomiphene citrate can be used with the supervision of the doctor then fifth antibiotics for genital tract infections like gonorrheal infections can be used to overcome the infertility problems now let us discuss some specific treatment or you can say some techniques 
if a person is having infertility problem number 1 intrauterine insemination technique can be used by the doctors in vitro fertilization technique you can use test tube babies you can prepared with the help of ivf procedure then intracytoplasmic sperm injection can be provided to the female now let us discuss all these techniques and procedure one by one first intrauterine insemination in which a catheter is inserted through the cervix into the uterus to deposit a sperm sample directly into the uterus in female this is a image showing intrauterine insemination in the female cervix a catheter is inserted into the uterus to deposit sperm content in directly into the uterus coming for the next procedure in vitro fertilization or you can say ivf procedure it is a process in which an egg is fertilized by sperm outside the body in vitro means in glass or you can say test tube babies can be produced through this method this is the image showing the in vitro fertilization procedure coming for the next procedure intracytoplasmic sperm injection it is the most successful form of treatment who are infertile let us know what is done in this procedure icsi that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection it requires only one sperm which is injected directly into the egg and fertilized egg is again then transferred to the uterus this is a picture showing icsi treatment coming for the surgical treatment it includes vaso vasostomy it is a procedure in which the effects of a vasectomy are reversed then it creates an opening between the separated ends of the vas deferens this was all about the male infertility now let us discuss about the female infertility problems the causes of female infertility are ovulation problems fallopian tube damage and other risk factors associated with female infertility are smoking alcohol consumption any drug abuse number 1 ovulation problems the ovulation problems it occurs due to hormonal imbalance hormonal imbalance in the fsh or lh secretion then absence of ovulation process in case of polycystic ovarian disease or abnormality in the menstrual cycle then eating disorders such as anorexia nervosa or bulimia nervosa may also leads to infertility problem if a women they take severe form of stress then also it may leads to hormonal imbalance and ovulation problems then intensive exercise that causes a loss of body fat other problems it includes fallopian tube damage if the women they are having previous infection due to gonorrhea if she is having fibroids some extra growth in the uterus then if the women she is having endometriosis problem that is inflammation of the endometrium layer of the uterus appearance of the endometrial tissue outside the womb it causes pain then ectopic pregnancy that is uh, if there is fertilization in the other part apart from the uterus it may leads to ectopic pregnancy and the most common one is the tubal pregnancy then congenital defect may also leads to infertility problems in women other risk factor it includes is if the female is having is 35 or more than 35 years they are high risk cases then poor diet if the women she is being overweight or underweight or if she is having malnutrition problem or protein deficiency then also she may lead to have infertility problems now let us know how to detect this infertility problems in women first and foremost you all need to take the history of the female woman female afterwards you need to do the laboratory test measurement of fsh and progesterone hormone then you can do endometrial biopsy to verify the ovulation process then hysterol self ingography you can do then laparoscopy procedure you can do to identify the infertility problems and the other root causes 
that may leading to infertility problems then pap smear you can collect to check for the sign of infection like human papilloma infection also may occur in some women then the treatment it includes it consists of fertility restoration drugs fertility restoration surgeries and assisted reproductive technologies is the art therapy you can perform in the women first fertility restoration drugs to stimulate the ovulation uh, you can provide the drugs like clomiphene citrate human menopausal gonadotropin then follicle stimulating hormone you can provide gonadotropin releasing hormone analog can be provide bromocriptin drug afterwards you can remove the tissues if there is any extra growth or fibroids in the endometrium you can remove it with the help of surgeries then tubal surgeries can be performed with the help of supervision of the doctor if the tubes are blocked or filled with fluid you can remove those fluids tubal surgery it improves the chances of becoming pregnant then laparoscopic surgery it is done in order to remove the adhesions and create a new tubal opening okay then selfingectomy can be done so that it can improve the chances of pregnancy with in vitro fertilization then other technique is art that is assisted reproductive technologies where there will be removing of the eggs from a woman body and it will be mix up with the sperm in the laboratory then common art methods is include intrauterine insemination already i have mentioned in the male infertility part then in vitro fertilization all these procedures are same these are done in the lab then zygote intrafallopian transfer you can do gamete intrafallopian transfer can be done then intracytoplasmic sperm injection can be provided to the female all these procedures are very costly and this is the picture showing the iui treatment that is the intrauterine insemination process then this is the in vitro fertilization process then gift zygote intra fallopian tube it is designed so that uh, the fertilized embryo it can be transferred into the fallopian tube then here the zygote is placed in the fallopian tube through which it will reach into the uterus it is a little bit similar to iuf then coming for the gift that is the gamete intra fallopian tube it is a process where the doctors or the lab technician they can transfer eggs and sperm into the women fallopian tube so for, so that fertilization can occur easily in the women's body so all these are some procedure a couple can follow if they are having infertility problems so this is a very short video regarding the infertility problem hope you all like this video and if you find this video useful you can share among your friends and guys you can suggest some topics you want to discuss along with me in my channel knowledge is power so till then thank you and take care stay healthy and fit with good positive thoughts and motivation thank you once again for watching my video